And we, we are, are back. What the hell were we even doing now? Back. And oh. violent psychosis. I think I was fast. I told you to open yeah. this. No, we, we seen this already. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I think we. Okay. No, okay. Uh, reset. No, I was. I'm thinking maybe we should follow this guy now. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're the police, not me. Just be careful. How was I doing? What the oh. fuck? How was I doing, Mr. Director? Like a real professional, yeah? It was an exceptional performance. Not only did you deliver your lines with passion and bravado, your improvisation was on point. Always adjusting your lines and tones to correspond with the other actor's delivery? You truly are a master thespian! Yeah, well, you didn't have to give me such a hard time! Sorry. Hmm. Occupational hazard. Once I get uh -huh. in character, I'm no longer reciting lines. I am the character. Cool. Now, I don't like to brat, but <laughs> that wasn't even the best performance I ever given. For most of my roles, I've done months of research. If I had more time, I'd have checked myself into a real mental hospital for at least six months. What the fuck, man? Stanislavski's What's system you people? pushes me to fully embody my characters by learning how they really live. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, what about the cops? Have they left? Good thing you heard the siren and figured out a plan quick. If you hadn't sent me out there to stall them, God knows what they would have found by now. So all three of these... What are they yeah, yeah, they were in uh, the yeah. runaway patient? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. But, at least to me it seemed like that was just a cover-up. They didn't even check out the room where number 68 escaped. They barely even looked out the window, too. Nope, both of them went straight to the patient rooms. You don't think they're looking for Jennifer? Could they be on to our plan? Who the fuck's at Jennifer? First, hmm. that's what I thought, too. Is she a ghost? Now, not so sure. Seem more like they were going around looking for someone sane. Then they've lost their minds as well. Looking for sane people inside a mental hospital? <laughs> yeah, I know, Cops right? A bunch of idiots anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and check again. I'll let you know. I'll go check room one as well. Let's go! Wait, what? What? Don't so leave me behind. Wait for me! Yeah. Ah, shit. Now we follow him. He, he doesn't have a name, so we won't know where he's going. Those two we know, alright, we can track them later. Yeah. James? Oh, you James. Away from the gate. Get your ass back to the day room. For crying out loud. You really think you're a caregiver, huh? Wait. You really think you're a caregiver, huh? Wait. Where do you think you're going? I told you to stop. Where do you think you're going? James is the real one. Huh? No, wait, wait, what? Oh, James. Oh, he's a real patient. Right. Wait, wait let, let them talk first. If oh. they, if they, if they will talk. Okay. What the hell's going on? Why were the police here? Things are getting out of control. Huh. I was just playing along with Mr. Director. What the fuck? Is no one here actually insane? <laughs> 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 fucking bullshit person. Right? Figured if we really did take over the hospital, it'd be much easier to look for ghosts. No way it's a coincidence. You notice anything off about those cops? Well, they were definitely looking for someone. Maybe they're that the other one who's crazy. <laughs> but the way they were interrogating every single patient makes me think they're after Ghost too. Why would the authorities suddenly be searching for him? Until we got that tip, everyone even. thought he was dead. Maybe they got it too. Is Ghost Raven? Anyway, what have you found so far? <laughs> I haven't locked down Ghost yet, but I did find his plan B. Plan B? Pure coincidence, actually. The TV remote went missing, you see, and the button on the TV doesn't work either. Huh. Got me curious, so one day I volunteered to cover Ray's night shift. After everyone Ray. left the room, I opened the TV set. Guess what I found? A bomb. Bingo! Anyone hmm. turns that thing on, it'll explode. I bet that's probably why he took the remote. That's further proof it was Ghost who blew up the police station. <gasps> to kill his crew and fake his own death. 
Huh. Ghost is Raven. Du, 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 du. <laughs> or was it Chip? <laughs> <laughs> or was it Mickey? Hmm. But why would he plant another one in the same place he's hiding? That's why I said it must be his plan B. Sure, the hospital's been a safe place to lay low, but someone clearly knows he's still alive. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put a bounty on his head and we wouldn't be in here. Ghost probably planted the bomb for just such an occasion as this. He can blow the place sky high and vanish into the wind again. Poof! Sounds right up his alley. Anyone who sees his face dies. Not this time. <laughs> Check this out. What the hell is that thing? Looks like some kind of sci-fi gizmo. It's a microcontroller infrared scrambler. Got it from a catalog for $29.95. Batteries not included. Okay. I don't get it. This is my plan B. When Ghost tries to blow this whole place to smithereens, this thing will jam the signal from huh. the remote. The oh, why didn't it jam boom, it? And we grab whoever's holding the clicker. Hmm. Now that's smart. Then all we have to do is cuff them and collect our reward. Before the cops Wait, swoop in and steal all Wait, the are these guys fucking bounty hunters? Huh. Because they're obviously not criminals. Yeah. Credit. Huh? Is that the alarm? What the hell? I didn't even know this hospital had an alarm system. Stupid cops. Who wanted tarnation? The trap the ghost set up. Fuck. Months of work down the drain. Oh. What do we do now? Ghost is gonna have to make a move now. So let's go nab the son of a bitch. All right. I'll follow your lead. The day room is the best place to start. He ain't in the library or the exam rooms. So he'll have to come through there before he can escape. Huh? There's this thing What's called that you're holding, Emily. No, Emily, stop! Okay. Wait, what? How do you get Emily? He was like, he was like, uh, what you're holding there, Emily? And Emily is always in front of me. Right. Right. Wait, was she watching the TV? Hello. Hold on. Walk there. Non bizarre grandiose delusional disorder. He thinks he's a caregiver. You're more nuts than I thought. Mm. What's she doing? Faster? Watching TV. But the TV isn't even on. What's your name? Faster. Uh, hmm? What? We've seen this. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just re-listening to it. See you. I miss anything. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait. She's still making. What? No, no, right. No, it's still, still, still. Uh, hold on. Mr. Director, uh, Hold on. He's here, right? What are they even then, investigating? Then the runaway patient? What? Huh? Went straight to, to the patient room. No, because we, we, I you didn't can't see him because he doesn't have anything. Yeah. <laughs> What are you looking for? Why not? I'm following these two. Oh. Following me. Did you talk to the police? Get the it? fuck out! Stop hmm? following me! Did you talk to the police, Silvis? What? No, no, okay. Okay. Boom. I did! I did too. Did you notice anything strange? That lady cop had a real attitude. Spoons are you too. Schizophrenia. Hmm? Well, yeah. you've got Spoons are real. Okay. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Complete schizo. Don't interrupt me. Just, just stop talking already. Both of you are giving me a headache. <laughs> the cop that questioned Silver Spoon was a chick, Mr. Director. That means there's more than one of them. You think they're on to us? Maybe we change the plan? Make a run for it while we still can? I mean, the gate is wide open. No, the show can't end like this. Don't you want to know Why are the they truth? still talking like After crazy all people? This time, yeah. The lies, the manipulation. Don't you crave retribution? Lies ain't the half of it. They probably want to steal my company while I'm not there too. Your company? When did it become your company, huh? Oh, shut up about your stupid. Is this Tyler? 
<laughs> you know how where there was twin twin brothers trying to f Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> company. No one cares. Yeah, well, either way, it's time for the doctors here to pay up. Right you are about that. Our plan is already in motion. Are they are they actually crazy people who think they're bounty hunters? <laughs> that is why I don't know, you know. I, I, I really don't know. Like, maybe they are mental patients who are in on it at the same time. <laughs> uh, what the f With the doctors under our control, now Spoon all we need seems to, to have two personalities. Yeah. Now it's personality disorder. Yeah, this yeah, well, this so or whatever. Or bipolar. police knew to show up at just the right moment, you know? Someone must have ratted on us. Hmm. You make a good point. Who could have called the police then? George? Mm. Nah, he was already in with the maestro before any of us even did anything. Probably doesn't even know what's going on. Jennifer then? This could turn out bad for us. If the cops were to search the bathroom. Jennifer! The bathroom. No, I can't be her. I, I stole a phone. What? Oh, sounds I what I told you to huh? lock her up. Sounds day. Yeah, I know. Give it here. <laughs> hmm. Recent calls. Well, the last call she made wasn't to 911. Why don't we try calling it? You can't just do that. We don't know who it'll call. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's in the room itself. Then what oh. are you looking at me for? Hand it over. Oh. And whose phone is this? Hmm? <laughs> oh. From that stupid cop earlier. Uh, but you know what? Here's what's really weird. Who calls a cop directly rather than 911? Huh. You stole this from the police? How many other phones have you Wait. stolen? Uh, what? Is this chip? No. <laughs> Mr. Director got the, from, uh, got the phone from where again? No. He got it from Clem, who stole it from Tony. You know the cop? Huh. I, 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 I don't got any more phones. But but I I do have this. <laughs> you are a real piece of work. Why would you steal a TV remote? Oh, I got uh -oh. it from Ray earlier. It, it, it just it looks Ray. like a phone, you know. It even fits in your hand like one. I I couldn't resist. Huh? Uh, that a police siren? Which part of stick to the script don't you understand? If you would have just followed your lines, you wouldn't have run the risk of getting us all into trouble. Now, if hmm. the police come back here, our plan is ruined. All our efforts down the drain. I'll keep the doctor's phone for now. You return both of those, but don't get caught. But I, I never learned to, 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 to return stuff. Make it happen. All right, oh. all right. That's oh, all. I think and Mr. Director has. Hmm? Hey, Emily. You gotta turn that thing on before you can watch it. <laughs> There's this thing called a You're remote. Holding, Emily. Don't yeah. do this to me. Oh. oh, he knows it's a bo. He knows that's a. Wait. Gotta... No, he doesn't know it's a detonator. He says no, Emily, stop. As he runs fucking in. What? What? What else could it? No, I mean Clap. Oh, Clap doesn't know it's a bomb. No, no, but it's Murphy. Murphy didn't know. He was like, no, Emily, stop. Go back there. See? It's, uh, oh, yeah. He's playing already. Forward? Wait, hey, is Emily, it? You gotta yeah. turn Pause. That thing is on it Murphy who said say it? Or was, was it James? Oh, uh, we're fine. <laughs> There's this thing no. called no. a remote. And Emily. Don't yeah. do this to me! Yeah, James. Yeah. Okay, so who the f- Oh, wait. No, he said you can't do this to me. Right, right. He was still pretending to be arrested. Yeah. What, what was the director doing in there while after he sent Nelly. him out? Yeah. That a police siren? Which part of it is But don't get caught. But I, I never. Right. Hmm. That's odd. We've been here for a while now, but there's been no sign of Nelly. There was some kind of weird sound earlier. So Nelly. She went to check. Probably went to the bathroom. Yeah. It was indeed the. Wait. To the bathroom, you said? Huh. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this place? Okay, but uh, I think Emily's a legit mental patient. It was like the whole time she's here, she's only yeah. like, like, why was she even doing this? Yeah. Right. What? 
soul audience. Oh! Oh, you listen to Emily sing. Yeah. And basically go to the spoon. Hmm? Go to the spoon. Right, right. Oh. Yeah. That's Did my they? Mr. Director's oh. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Emily. Uh, Where the bus? Oh, wait, no way. Uh, we saw. Nelly! Nelly! Yeah, she's Nelly. You're right. What's going on outside? I heard a bunch of people talking, but then it went quiet. Ah, that was Mr. Director telling us about the test. He said we gotta take over the hospital so we can put a stop to it. Also, Wait. something about, you know... So Spoon's not crazy too? Yeah. What the hell? No one's crazy here! Yeah. I mean, he still speaks with two personalities though. Wait. No, like right now he's not. Hold on, just listen for... Yeah. Like, and where's Clap? Clap is... Wait, Clap's hanging out with Murphy. Huh. We might have seen that later. Oh boy. Yeah, really I know, right? Shut up! He told us not to yeah. tell anyone, didn't he? Yeah, all right, okay. Whatever. I don't even want to know. <sighs> Look, you upset her. It's all your fault. I told you to shut up! Hey, Nelly, don't be mad. For what you're right. Seriously. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. I know what she's writing. Oh, yeah? And how the hell would you know, huh? You ain't her. Well, you ain't me mm. either. How do you know? I don't hell? know. <laughs> exactly. I ain't you, so I don't know if you know enough. But you certainly ain't her, so you don't know squat, you big ignoramus. <laughs> Silver spoon. Oh, so you finally decided to talk to me, huh? Do you know who you are? I'm, uh, me, I guess. <laughs> no, you aren't. I'm me! Okay. <laughs> For once, think before you answer. It's not easy. That's why Mr. Director's so terrified about the test. Wait, you know about the test too? Why wouldn't I? It's called TAT, and it involves a series of repeated questions that try to get the test subject to make up a logical story based on their own desires, emotions, motives, and personal experiences. Hmm. <laughs> Most participants end up projecting their own subconscious onto a character in the made-up story without even realizing it. <laughs> so, that's so what it is. Doesn't sound like such a big deal to me. Yes, and it wouldn't be if it were just that. The problem is, this hospital is doing more than just a simple test. Something much more... intense. Sinister. Oh, 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 intense. Okay. <laughs> like what? They put extreme pressure on the test subjects, causing them to lose themselves in the stories they make up. Even once the test is over, they lose track of reality, which can lead to the development of multiple personalities. And those whose minds are already weak, they lose track of who they are altogether. Textbook delusional right there. Ha! <laughs> well, I'll be! No wonder Mr. Director's about to shit his shorts. Don't concern me, though. Oh, yeah? Then how about this scenario? Deep down, you, me, all of us constantly struggle with our own issues. Pretty normal, hmm. right? Um, well, during the test, you are to project those conflicting thoughts onto different characters in the stories they have. I'm heard. more confused about Each who, is, who are character, mental patients and who are engaged not. In hmm. bitter back and forth argument with its other half. Until finally, they lose Like, I mean, he's actually crazy, but yeah. is he actually here as a patient or like one of the bounty hunters no no way no way but he is obviously working with these two you know how nelly said that the what tat right mm -hmm. makes you forget and then you and then let you uh how say mm -hmm. yeah it makes you project a character but yeah. but, uh -huh. but but i mean they, they, all three of them are also kind of crazy too, right? Yeah. Like Mr. Director is talking. So what if all of them went under TAT already, and and when they are they are in the same narrative playing three different characters? What? You don't get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same they're playing three different characters. But then the but then there's like uh then there's James and the other guy, right? Who I mean, they are those two are clearly yeah. sane. Like those two are appears to be more sane than the rest, at least. Mm -hmm. And they are clearly working with these two, at least yeah. uh, working on him. So, like, did they just like, um, 
Well, did did they are they here as bounty hunters but just went crazy afterwards? <laughs> yeah. right. or, or were they crazy and they are just you know imagining imagining that they are bounty hunters? Yeah, that's 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 the confusion. <laughs> but let me just like I think I'll just put take Smoon's name off for a bit. You know. For now, let's mm. assuming that there one. is bounty hunters here. Possible. Wait, is she talking about us? I'm calling BS! Hey, don't look at me. I'm not the one running the tests. I just wanted to let you know to be prepared. And more importantly, Someone don't forget it. who yeah. you are. Already. Now I'm actually kind of intrigued. Sounds a little, I don't know, fun! No one's ever been able to give me a run for my money before. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? It sounds like some kind of, I don't know, metaphysical test. Metaphysical, my ass! It's a scam, pure and simple. Uh -huh. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. I am unscammable. Oh, shut up. I need to think. Think it never did you any good. <laughs> Metaphysical. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna hit the hay. Let's see where Nelly goes. Hold on. Yeah, we get a. Because she goes to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's did any of that oh, I didn't know that actually talk so long why yeah. do you even bother Nelly journalists are the watchdogs of society or haven't you heard yeah and what good did any of that do you huh the cops didn't even believe you <laughs> hmm. you've heard about the Unabomber correct huh who do you think I am of course I heard of them Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Murray, the bomb the himself. The inventor of TAT <laughs> used his test to evaluate soldiers during World War II. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. But did you know that he also gave it to innocent students back in 1959? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? What's all that got to do with the Unabomber? Are you kidding me? Well, it just so happens that a certain 17-year-old boy, Ted Kaczynski, was one of his unwitting test subjects. Mm -hmm. And, well, you know the rest. Over a period of 18 years, he ended up I making and rest. sending at least 16 bombs. What I'm trying to say is, huh. destroying someone mentally can have repercussions far beyond one person. Well, I'll be damned. And that Henry Murray fellow's got blood on his hands, too. I don't know if I'd go that far. Science and all the experiments that go along with it are, well, they're not wrong. It's just that sometimes people can get in so deep that they lose track of the boundaries of morality. I have nothing mm -hmm. against the doctors here. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Falling asleep. Want to get the truth. Yes. It's my hope that people can learn to respect humanity while still pursuing science. Well, at least we know she's definitely not crazy. A reporter with a heart of mm. gold. <laughs> you know, if Mr. Director had his say, he'd just shut up! He told you not to tell anyone! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. My lips are sealed. Oh, okay. You hear that? Oh. You, can okay. hear you hear that? Oh. No, no, what was that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nothing. From where? The toilet? Did you hear that? Oh. You can hear it too? I thought it was just in my head. No, it's definitely real. Sounds like it's coming from next door. Mm. All of your hearing things need to up your meds. <laughs> I'll go check. James is still here. We still have yeah. seen like one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have a lot of things to take a look, Jared. Four people. Four people, yeah. yeah. Mm. And this one's on constantly in the oh, two of them. Who's that knocking? Oh! Ray, Ray, what are you doing here? Oh. Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. 
then you can get me out of here. Well, who the hell is well, this? I, yeah. I'll do my best, but, but remember, that I'm just a caregiver. <laughs> the doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. Ah. You gotta save her too. Doctor Jennifer? Oh. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor, wake up! <clears throat> Hey, who put Where them here? I? I don't know. What happened? Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you went out cold, Ray. What happened? Oh, shit. Huh? huh? Hey, what are you... Uh, Ray! Oh. What the fuck? You killed her! Killed? She'll be fine. No, no, no. Anyway, oh. better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a panic. So I didn't Wait. notice it. Wait a minute. Cracked ashtray. Wait. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Who oh, is it? Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> the gate to the inpatient center <coughs> wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They they threw me in the bathroom. Then then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nelly was in on this too? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. I don't know about that, but I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? <laughs> but what is it they're trying to huh. do? And why didn't you call Somehow the police? Somehow I don't. Chance? <laughs> I mean, they do seem so to be all crazy. <laughs> One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh, wait. Oh, Jennifer called the cops. God damn wait. it, it's gone. What? <sighs> Not my phone, something else. This phone's gone too? Uh, oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's the rule here. Well, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. What do we do now then? We can't even call the police. How many people did you see in here earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, <laughs> Oscar. Oh, right. And Mr. Mm -hmm. Director. I'm telling you, it was chaos. Oscar. Which one is Oscar? Isn't it? Uh. No, yeah, we know. No all, idea. We already know where the, all the places There might have been so more of them. I, I don't know. And all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? So they are suffering from some sort of illness, they took all the of them. Keys, but as far as I know, no. she said they are not suffering. They are not from even suffering from the same yeah, illness. The same illness. But they are, that does mean that they are suffering some sort of illness, right? Or at least they are pretending to suffer from an illness. I don't know. A lot of them does seem to genuinely be <laughs> suffering <laughs> from something. Left. All yeah. I could tell was that Mr. Director seemed to be the ringleader. Something about <laughs> manipulation <laughs> and brainwash then it's a coup a coup yeah they want to take over the hospital that's why they didn't take escape. A, a little fine ghost you haven't seen george have you no nope. maybe he's still in the treatment room is that an alarm uh, probably uh, somebody's alarm clock i wouldn't worry about it then what are alarm we doing? clock <laughs> it's only a matter of time before they find us here honestly i think the two of us can hold them off Clept, he's basically a stick. Oscar's a wuss. Silver Spoon's lucky if he isn't fighting himself. And Mr. Director, he's an old man. <laughs> the only reason they got the jump on me last time was because they, they caught me off guard. But you and I, we'll have the element of surprise next time. Why don't we just sneak into the director's office and use the landline to call the police? Hey, good idea. Come on, let's go. Stay calm. We've got this. No looking around, just stay quiet and fuck. Fuck. Oh. Wait, wait. Uh, wait. Who called, what, what, what did she say? And and follow me. Oh. But who called the cops? God damn it. Go, go, George. No, no, hold on. No, no, no. I want to. 
Because like, there, there was a, the whole thing? no, there was a part I was confused about. Clem got the phone. Mm-hmm. He said, "One of the phone called Tony, which is one of the cops, right? Mm-hmm. Whose phone was that? I can't remember. I think it was Jennifer's phone, but Jennifer was knocked out when the other, uh, when the other one escaped. So, and wait, Nelly, See, I'm confused. Stop. Don't interrupt me. Just, just stop talking already." Both of you are giving me a headache. The cop that questioned Silver Spoon was a chick, Mr. Director. That means that it's No show can't end like this. Don't you want to know the truth? After all this time, the lies, the manipulation, don't you crave retribution? Lies ain't the half of it. Do you have a company? When did it become your company, huh? Oh, shit. No one cares. Yeah, well, that. Our plan is already in motion. With the doctors under our control, all we need to do is wait for the police to leave. <laughs> I still don't get how the police knew to show up at just the right moment, you know? Yeah, yeah. Someone must have hmm. ratted on us. Hmm. You make a good point. Who could have called the police then? George? Nah, he was already in with the maestro before any of us even did anything. Probably doesn't even know what's going on. Jennifer then? Well, this could turn out bad for us. If the cops were to search the bathroom, shut up. But he was already <laughs> in with the maestro, so he doesn't know anything. Uh, no, Wait. I can't be. Hang on, I, I stole a phone. What? I thought. Wait, hold on. Jennifer. No, yeah. I can't be her. Clip I... stole Jennifer's phone. Cops hold on. on. Why did you skip? Shh, shh, shh. Jennifer. Shh. Jennifer. Shh. Bathroom. Turn out bad for us. Hold on. I know. Cops were to search the bathroom. Right, right, because Jennifer. that's where no, they put all the numbers. Yeah. I, I stole a phone. What? I thought I told you to lock her up, not steal her phone. Give it here. <laughs> hmm. Recent calls. Well, the last call she made wasn't to 911. Why don't we try calling it? You can't just do that. We don't know who it'll call. Right, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? What are you somehow called me for? Tony. Hand it over. <sighs> and whose phone is this? Hmm? <laughs> From that stupid <laughs> cop earlier. Uh, but you know what? Here's what's really weird. Who calls a cop directly rather than 911? You stole this from the police? How many other phones have you stolen? Uh, I, 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 I don't got any more phones. But, but I, I do have this. <laughs> you are a real piece remote, of work. Right. Why yeah, but who did he got it from? TV remote. It got it from Ray earlier. It, it, it just. Ray? Ray? Who's Ray again? Ray, right here. You mean. Right. Is Ray a ghost? Or did he just have <laughs> the remote thinking it just for. thinking that it's just for the TV? Maybe he's ghost, maybe he's not. Whatever it is, we'll, we'll find, find out, out next time. <laughs> Ta-ta.